We welcome you to Noche and a Beyond. Here on 2K Sports, from the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Daniels with it, covered by Parker. On the wing, Wiggins. Here's the three. Batum grabs the miss. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. In this matchup with Las Vegas, it's their first meeting of the season. Olsap a screen, Parker with it. Hardaway picks him up, shakes him, nice move. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. As the regular first season comes foul. to a close, Greg, you realize that some of these coaches will be in new situations very soon. No doubt, Kevin. The, the coaches oftentimes are used as scapegoats when the season doesn't go as planned. And sometimes fairly and other times unfairly, but that's the life of an NBA coach. And Parker just puts so much pressure on your defense with his speed. and He's made a living out of doing that. Parker looking around. Now, here's Sean, covered by Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Millsap passes to Duncan. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now, here's Wiggins coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. Aiton the screen. Daniels passes to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Impressive at using the pick and roll. Eight slips well to the basket after setting that screen. Parker outside. Elsap a screen. With some arc. And the rejection by Eaton. Connects from three-point range. Great at creating shots. Sharp did it there with that catch and shoot. Las Vegas, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Right with a screen on Parker. Wiggins right side. From the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got three assists tonight. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And that one's good. Millsap. Tony Parker makes it look easy dropping those dimes like that. He seems to be one step ahead of the defense all the time. Pass to Hardaway. Again, Las Vegas scores. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Now here's Parker. He's guarded closely. And the rejection by Eaton. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Eaton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Basket counts. Wiggins has got five. 
Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Out of bounds, Las Vegas takes possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Ginobili's checked in. Las Vegas leading by five. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Here is Daniels, covered by Parker. Hardaway from outside. Here's Eaton. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Wiggins against Ginobili. Solid defense there from Ginobili. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Parker passes to Ginobili. Millsap kicks to Parker. Spurs passing it around. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Las Vegas has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Higgins outside. 135 left in the first quarter. Four on the clock. Aiton a screen on Duncan. Daniels passes to Aiton. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got five assists in the game. You gotta give Aiden credit. This guy is solid at keeping his balance even with the contact. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Corkmaz checked in for the Spurs. Turner comes in for Parker and then for Las Vegas. Larabi is checked in, and it's Terry in for Wiggins. Duncan kicks to Corkmaz. Outside Turner, stolen by Michael Conley. Now Las Vegas moving it up. Here's Daniels, an easy two points on the layup. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Here's Corkmaz. Duncan with a screen on Conley. Conley against Turner. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. The Spurs come into this one following a loss to Charlotte. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Here's Ginobili following the basket by DeAndre Ayton. Ginobili looking around. Outside Turner, five to shoot. He'll a screen. Shot from free throw range. Got a hand on it. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Las Vegas ahead. They're up by 11. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome back to Noche Latina, celebrating the Latin culture and their love for the game of basketball. It just keeps growing. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Las Vegas. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great, not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Pass to Conley. And there's Terry. The three. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category 
ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Turner. Count it. Turner's got his second bucket of the night. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Terry against Ginobili. Aiton sets the pick for Terry. And Aiton throws it down. Oh, good vision from Terry. Able to find an open teammate there for the deuce. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Aiden Sharp's checked in for the Spurs. And Las Vegas making a change here as well. Moravia's checked in. Spurs trail by 14. Outside Millsap. Stolen by Conley. Now here's Conley. The fast break opportunity. Here's Moravia. Rebound San Antonio. No one to blame on that one but himself. It looks like that. You've got to take it back. Terry against Ginobili. There's the triple. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Knocks it loose. Moravia passes to Terry. Wiggins surveying the floor. Score of the basket is third after five shots. A main area of emphasis for Wiggins moving forward has to keep knocking it down from the mid-range. Outside Millsap. Turner passes to Millsap. Back to Turner. Unloads from 13. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. Turner's got six. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. A well, wide open look here for Terry. That three off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Spurs passing it around. The shot's good from Lopez. Ginobili, such a solid pass. It seems to know whenever one of his guys is wide open and gets him the ball. And first time out of the game called for Las Vegas. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And the Spurs with some changes. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Lopez. And Parker is subbed in for Evan Turner. And Las Vegas making a change here. Here is Daniels. Right with a screen on Parker. Now the pass to Wiggins. Three-pointer. Duncan grabs the rebound. Ginobili against Wiggins. Fast break. Here we go. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Great speed by Wiggins there. I mean, makes him a dominant finisher in transition. Speed kills, and oftentimes you can't control it. Now here's Millsap. Outside Ginobili. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Ayton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Right sets a screen. Pass to Hardaway. Pulls up. Another shot. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look. The defense has allowed that the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Lopez is checked in for Paul Milson. Mike Conley's checked in for Las Vegas. And a lot of head coaching changes, Greg, coming into this season in all. Eight teams with the new voice in charge. And last year, a lot of turnovers as well. By the end of the season, it really surprised me, Kevin, to see those changes extend to over half the league's team. It's kind of part of the job. And here is Conley. Mano Ginobili getting his three to go. Ayton sets the pick for Hardaway. Dishes it to Ayton. He's looking for Hardaway and finds him. And that one drops. Hardaway has got six. Boy, that quick trigger mindset. When Hardaway Jr. is firing away like this, you know he's feeling. Conley against Parker. Here's the floater. And Duncan with the basket on the assist by Parker. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but um, they're starting to look 
a little better now and regaining some ground. Now here's Conley. Nothing on the board. And this is Conley's game. Just terrific with that mid-range. The D has to be much more concerned. This is it to Ginobili. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. But now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Right with a screen on Ginobili. Right wing. Conley for three. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got six assists in the game. The Rico come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Parker. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Yep, it counts. And when Parker gets his legs under him from that mid-range area, he is incredibly accurate. And here is Hardaway. He had 16 points in the win against Detroit. Conley gets the bucket. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Oh, oh my goodness! Before the whole oh, that. Wow. What a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man. Even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Mm. And so it's Las Vegas. Sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. DeAndre Ayton has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Parker against Conley. Millsap sets the pick for Parker to the paint. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Wright finds Conley. This one for three. Batum grabs the miss. Spurs trail by 14. Pass to Parker. The pass to Sharp. Got a piece of it over in the corner of a tomb. Clock at four. Millsap passes to Sharp from deep three-point territory. The offensive rebound. Yeah, Millsap doing good work there with the extra possession converting on the offensive glass. Parker against Conley. Wiggins inside the line. And the rebound goes to Duncan. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Parker passes to Millsap over Conley. And Paul Millsap, the bucket on the assist by Parker. Parker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Las Vegas calls timeout. Vegas. With this break in the action, here's a look at the teams that have blocked the most shots in the NBA this last month. They have been racking up the blocks lately. I mean, if they keep this up, they're going to be a very difficult matchup for anybody. We've heard the stories about Sharp and how impressive his vertical is. Now we see it on full display. Daniels with it, covered by Parker. Pass to Hardaway. Over but two. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got five rebounds tonight. Parker outside. Spurs working the ball around now. Off target from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Hardaway passes to Daniels. 
Back to Hardaway. The three ball. The shot's good on the assist by Daniel. Daniels has got his seventh assist here tonight. You know, with good shooting form and technique and a knack for scoring, Hardaway Jr. is confident with the deep ball. And the rejection by Eaton. Down low, here's Wiggins. The rebound by Sharp. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. Takes the three. The shot, no good. Las Vegas leading by 11. Right around three minutes into the second half. On the way, Wiggins. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. And there's the feed to Millsap. Out to Duncan. There's the dish to Parker. Duncan with the screen for Parker. From deep, Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender posted. And Hardaway gets it to go. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. San Antonio calls timeout. You know, boy, he's checked in for Shaden Sharp. Mike Conley's checked in for Las Vegas. Here's Millsap. He's got six. Parker outside. Kicks it to Batum. Parker left side. Five on the clock. Ginobili outside. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Ginobili's got 12 points in the game. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arm. They get it back. Aiton gets off, but still a great shooting night. Six of eight from the field in the game. Here's the teardrop. Parker's shot is off. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. And tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Back to Conley. From past the arc, and another three for Las Vegas. It's Conley's ability to hit the long ball that makes him such an asset. Stretches the floor and creates space. Now, here's Parker. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Millsap down low. Guarded by Wright. Here's Parker. Up and in on the way Parker's got his second bucket of the game to go. Millsap doing a nice job there, reading the defense, and makes a nice slick pass to burn the opponent. Passes it to Aiton. Over Duncan, and it's Aiton missing. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Back to Ginobili. Duncan with the screen for Ginobili. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Terry with it, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Terry's got five. At a size disadvantage, clearly, but Terry still found a way to make it work. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbow. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. And so it's... And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. It's tipped. The baseline J. And the shot is long. Spurs trail by 14. Pass to Sharp. All 
over Wiggins. Connects in the foul line jumper. Sharps got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Spurs. Conley kicks to Wiggins. Drummond sets the screen for Wiggins. And another make to his scoring count. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. Solid interior defense, but Wiggins with the body control to adjust. Nicely done. Ginobili outside. Turner passes to Duncan. Back to Turner. Out of bounds. Las Vegas takes possession. Las Vegas falls. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Conley kicks to Terry. Floats one up. Here's Drummond. And he banks in the lane. Drummond's got his first two points of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Las Vegas leading by 14. The pass to Laravia. Dishes it to Terry. It's stolen by Duncan. Ginobili with the ball. Conley picks him up. On the wing, Duncan. Lopez finds Turner. Now Duncan. Pass to Sharp. Beyond the clock. Offline with his three. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. On the Spurs with some changes. Paul Millsap's checked in for Lopez. Batum comes in for Ginobili. And Parker subbed in for Evan Turner. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Millsap passes to Parker. Passes it to Duncan. A tremendous score with the ball in his hands. Duncan, just too much for the need to handle. First team foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Las Vegas. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. That one is no good. There's so much that's impressive about Duncan, but I think the most impressive thing is how fundamentally sound he is. In the corner, it's Wiggins. No good on the three. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Here's Duncan. And the rejection by Eaton. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here is Daniels, covered by Parker. Hardaway passes to right. Just four to shoot. Daniels kicks to Hardaway. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Hardaway has got nine points here in the second half. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now, here's Millsap over right. San Antonio again missing. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now Daniels. On the wing, Hardaway. Daniels passes to Hardaway. Eaton a screen on Batum. Here's Hardaway. 
The 18-footer is right on the mark. Hardaway has got five points in the quarter. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and slop your ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. And that one's good, Parker. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Las Vegas. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for DeAndre Ayton. Well, he was swatting shots all game long. Really owned the defensive end and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim. Now, here's Sharp. Following the miss by DeAndre Ayton. Count that one. Nice vision from the youngster. Sharp that time. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Hardaway. Back to Daniels. Pass to Wiggins. Takes a three. And the three ball is good. And Las Vegas leads by 18. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And i tell you something. I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Now, here's Millsap. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Excellent poise from Duncan right there. I mean, he's got defenders all over him, but he doesn't let that bother him or his shot at all. So we see Las Vegas taking the W here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and... It's time for the NBA. And on 2K Sports, tonight we'll see the Utah Jams as they play against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now here is Harris. Stoudemire with a screen on Westbrook. Here is Novak. Shot clock at six. And here's Harris from the arc. Kevin Garnett grabs the miss. And so it's Garnett who brings up the ball for the chance. Pass to Beal. Garnett with the screen for Beal. And with each passing game, each passing day, the playoffs are getting closer. Clark, it's an exciting time to be an NBA fan. Exactly. I mean, this is where teams really start to put it all on the line, especially squads looking for a top playoff spot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. And guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little bit higher, so you've got to like that progress. Now here is Harris. His last downing, 16 points for him. O'Neal outside. High post, Stoudemire. Harris outside. O'Neal sets the screen for Harris over Westbrook and the basket by Harris. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot right in his wheelhouse. Outside Westbrook. Over Harris. And it's Westbrook missing. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. Harris with him. He's picked up by Lopez. Harris passes to O'Neal. Here is Novak. 
Stoudemire trying to break free, and Steve Novak gets the three. Boy, I like that pass from O'Neal. He's got a great feel for the game. Now Crawford. His last outing, he had eight points. Pass to Lopez. 14 feet away, and the jumper falls for him. You know, Lopez is very much a real threat to drop one in from that range. I mean, he's an excellent shooter for his size. Allen surveying the D. Here's the pass to Harris. Back to Allen. Fires the three, and again for three. One of the best to ever do it from long range. And in approaching first and threes made for his career, perhaps he can make the case for the best to ever do it. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And here's a rundown of the rookies already having a huge impact in their first season. These are the NBA's rookie scoring leaders. Bradley Beal is second. Well, coming in, you wondered how his talent would translate at this level in terms of scoring. And I've got to say, apparently, it's translating pretty well. Well, you know, hey, as a rookie, it's always hard to earn the respect of coaches. But he's earned every minute he's gotten this season. Just a terrific offensive threat. And Utah making a change here. Austin's checked in. Crawford, no one around him. That one's in his first shot this game. Boy, that's a nice feed by Lawson. Minnesota in the lead. Stoudemire, the screen. Harris finds Stoudemire. Here's Branham. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from 14, and good that time. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Westbrook. His last outing, he had eight points. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact. So he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. Harris against Lawson. Over in the corner, Allen. A fader. And it's Stoudemire missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Lawson the pass to Lopez over Shaq. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And he lobs it up to the rim. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And this is where Stoudemire inflicts so much damage and it's why he gets fouled so often. The Timberwolves shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Timeout called from Minnesota. Chris Humphries has checked in for Kevin Garnett. Fisher's checked in for Minnesota. And the first one drops. Excellent piece to have offensively. Stoudemire has that toughness you look for in the score. So after making the first, he goes one for two. For Utah, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. That is really where Russell Westbrook excels in transition with that great speed of his. Lawson's against Fisher. Stoudemire with a screen on Lawson to the middle. Stoudemire, the bucket on the assist by Fisher. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Lawson. Still scoreless. And that one's good. Westbrook. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Fisher against Lawson. There's a screen. Fisher, the pass to Branham. Now here's Stoudemire. 
Passes to Branham. Here's Fisher. Fisher makes good decisions. He's got a really good basketball. But it's been an exciting game so far. Timberwolves lead by two. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. Now it's going so far for the Timberwolves. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Here's Harris following the basket by Kyle Anderson. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And in terms of three-point shooting, not really a focal point. Top 20 in the league. And I know that's something they do want to try and improve upon. Turkle is checked in for the Jazz. And here's Lawson. Still yet to score. Out left to the wing. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. And here we have the 2K leaderboard showing us the teams with the best free throw percentage during the past month. Fifth, the Jazz. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. Bradley Beals checked in for Utah. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Novak's checked in. Harris outside. Fisher sets the screen for Harris. Pass to Branham for the three. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And it's Fernandez missing. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Only three games left until the start of the playoffs. Let's see how the East will look. Taking a look at Utah, winding things down this season. They're in that all-important ninth position within striking distance of a playoff spot. And, of course, there's Minnesota. They're much further down in the standings right now. Well, right now for the Timberwolves, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, that's the sense you get, isn't it? I mean, the important thing is that they don't panic here. Stick to the basics and work out of this slump without trying to do too much on time. <laughs> About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Lock at six. Here's Lawson. Humphreys kicks to Lawson. Garnett with the screen for Lawson. Takes it inside. Watch again. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. And Utah making a change here. Lopez is checked in. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Ray Allen, he's checked in for Fisher. The inbound. Beal can't get that one to fall. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now here is Harris. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Lawson against Harris. Lawson dishes to Beal. Stolen. And here they come. Branham, the pass to Novak. Harris looking it over. Just five on the clock. Launches it. And another three for Minnesota. Nice stroke from long range. And if he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Lawson with it. No scoring in this one. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working 
to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And the Timberwolves call time here. Vanderbilt is checked in for Utah. Russell Westbrook comes in for Ty Lawson. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Stoudemire's checked in. Westbrook against Harris. Stoudemire with a screen on Westbrook. Shoots from 12. That's good on the jump shot. Here's Westbrook. 10 points for him. Lopez sets a screen for Westbrook. Going inside. And Utah turns it over again. And with the pause and the action, let's look at the numbers for Westbrook. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse. And talk about being top 10 in steals. I love his jumping the passing lanes and then stealing away your dribble. Chris Humphreys has checked in for Garnett. Fisher's checked in for Minnesota. Minnesota leading by five. Stoudemire outside. Nobody near Allen. Here's Foster. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Outside for Beal. And the pass to Westbrook. Lopez, a screen on Fisher. Inside. And the dunk by Lopez. Nice job that time. Really an excellent job from Lopez to find the right angle to get the feed off the pick and roll. Fisher against Westbrook. We've got a moment now to go to our rookie watch and find out who among the NBA's freshman class have been the hottest shooters. Bradley Beal, number one. And his confidence is going to keep growing if he continues shooting like he has over the past month. And what I like about him is he rarely pulls the trigger unless he has a quality look, an open look. And he's cagey and crafty. And now he creates room for himself to get a shot off. Well, I love his offensive presence. A lot of poise he plays that end of the floor with. And he makes the first. Hey, you can't judge a book by its cover, nor can you judge Derek Fisher by his size. He's a lot stronger than he looks and has deceptive athleticism for his build. He doesn't get the second one. Jazz trail by four. Beal gets a wide open look. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. And that's money from Beal. He's so crafty at finding space in that deep corner. Westbrook against Fisher. Over in the corner, Allen. And Stoudemire slams it in. And Stoudemire is just excellent timing on these alley-oops. It has that great connection with his teammates. Lob it up, and he'll take care of the rest. Now here's Beal. 17 points in his last outing. Westbrook against Fisher. And it's Westbrook missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Passes it to Stoudemire. Stoudemire drawing the double team. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Pass to Humphreys. Here's Lopez. Out to the right wing. Lopez sets a screen for Westbrook. Defenders really struggle to keep up with Russell Westbrook. It's probably because he's such a dynamic and aggressive athlete. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Westbrook. Westbrook continues to pile up incredible numbers. I mean, his intensity on a nightly basis is absolutely insane. Looking at who's out there now for the Jams. Arnett comes in for Chris Humphreys. And it's Crawford in for Vanderbilt. O'Neal's checked in for Minnesota. Harris comes in for Fisher. Good on both. Yeah, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. 
Over in the corner, Allen. To the inside, Kevin Garnett with the steal. Peel with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. So there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And now a veteran in this league, Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Two shots. Free throw good, Beal. And both free throws good for Beal. 24 seconds left in the second quarter. Harris outside. Six to shoot. Allen with the screen for Harris. Here's Stoudemire. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Stoudemire's got six here in this quarter. This is a center that wants to take jump shots. Amari has major skill for a man of his size. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Timberwolves on top, up three. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Lopez sets a screen for Westbrook. Stolen by Allen. Pass to Harris. to the basket. He gets it in there. Harris has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, that's just straightforward basketball from Harris. Driving to the hoop of purpose and not letting anyone, or anything for that matter, slow him down. Now here's Beal. Five points in the game. Here's Crawford. Takes it off the glass. Crawford's got his second basket. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. Harris against Westbrook. Over in the corner, Allen. Stoudemire, right side. The feed to Harris. Novak with the three. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Here's Westbrook. He's got 12. It's rebounded by O'Neal. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Harris kicks to Shaq. Allen passes to Stoudemire. Shot clock at five. And it's Harris off the drive. Back to Stoudemire. Allen outside. Westbrook against Harris. O'Neal is screen on Westbrook. 
Here's Harris. Here he goes. Garnett with the block. An infinite reach, it seems. The wingspan of Garnett is just amazing. Beal and the rejection by Stoudemire. Here is Nova. Six points for him. Allen for the three. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Allen's got the lead up to six now for the Timberwolves. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Lopez sets a screen for Westbrook. And there's the pass to Garnett. Here's Lopez in that one. Good. Lopez has got six. Taking it strong. Nice finish by the big fella. Way to get after it, Lopez. And the Timberwolves call time here. And now that we have a second, let's take a look at the job these point guards have been doing since the All-Star break. Tremendous assist numbers you see right there. Devin Harris, number one. And he's been doing everything you want from that position, getting everyone involved, making sure the defense has to worry about all five guys on the court. And he's been doing it better than any other point guard in the league. That assist total of his makes that perfectly clear. I mean, he's the best distributor in the game right now. And stolen by Harris. Stoudemire with a screen on Beal. Crawford with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Crawford's got it. Over Harris. Out that one in. And the Timberwolves lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Crawford. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. Stoudemire with a screen on Westbrook. Allen passes to Stoudemire. Over Garnett. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And so Allen will bring it up now for Minnesota. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. O'Neal passes to Allen. And here is Stoudemire. Just five to shoot. Back to Allen. Fires the three. That one doesn't drop. Well, he's got a faint stroke. That one almost dropped. Westbrook kicks to Beal. To Westbrook. There's Crawford with the three. Crawford with another miss. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Harris misses. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. Crawford dishes to Garnett. It's Crawford on the wing for the lead. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. Harris against Westbrook. Harris outside. Pass to Stottom. Trying to end the drought. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Crawford outside, and the Jazz, another three. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense for those kinds of openings. Knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfect. Now here is Harris. He has six. Here's O'Neal. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Now Westbrook. He's got 12. Three-pointer. Doesn't go for him. Tie game in Utah. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter.
And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. So it's Minnesota now. Fisher outside. There's a good screen. Pass to Allen. And it's Utah with the rebound. Humphreys has got four rebounds now tonight. And there's the drive. Fernandez. That's good. Fernandez has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Jams. Minnesota's got two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Here is Nova. Here's Allen. The good-looking shot from the wing. Allen so comfortable anywhere on the floor. He's such a deadly scorer. Beal taking his time here. Eight-pointer Fernandez. Minnesota with the rebound. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. It's stolen by Lawson. He feeds it to Fernandez. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Jazz. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined. Making ball handlers very uncomfortable. Another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. Now here's Lawson. Back to Beal for three. Can't hit that one. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really hard. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. The 19-foot shot, and Utah again with the bucket. And there's not an area on the floor where Beal can't do damage. He is a handful for any defense he goes up against. Fisher against Lawson. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Lopez with the steal. And now here's Fernandez, the fast break opportunity. It's Fernandez with the jam. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Fisher against Lawson. Now with the screen for Fisher. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. A different look for Utah. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Humphreys. Crawford comes in for Rudy Fernandez. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Ty Lawson. the wing, Harris. He's covered by Westbrook. Harris, no good. Jazz leading by four. Here's Crawford. Stoudemire grabs the board. Stoudemire's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. That one drops for him. And no big deal for Stoudemire. That veteran heartbeat. Now here's Westbrook. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Stoudemire, and that is good. Stoudemire, such an explosive score in his position. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Lopez. Unable to get that one. Shaq with some nice D. No back, the pass to Harris. Here's Stoudemire, and it's Stoudemire with the jam. And Stoudemire, a dunking machine out there. Remarkable at getting the position he needs to bring that one home. 
Now here's Westbrook. And it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. No surprise there. I mean, this is who Westbrook is. This is what Westbrook does. Ready to step up in the biggest moment. Harris against Westbrook. And Stoudemire with the basket on the assist from Harris. And that's now 19 points for Stoudemire. Rising to the challenge. Stoudemire refuses to be intimidated by the high stakes. Westbrook banked in off the glass. And the Jazz lead by two. No quit, no dying in Westbrook. He's coming until the horn says zero. Allen, a screen on Westbrook. A pass to Stoudemire. Excellent D there from Garnett. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. Takes it out to Crawford. Westbrook against Harris. Westbrook passes to Lopez. Nice timing on that rejection from Shaq. Demonstrating why. You got to take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. And the Timberwolves call time. They're trailing by two. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what Rudy Tomjanovic went over with his team. Now, with this game up for grabs, Coach told his guys to think positive. He said, we know this game is ours, fellas. We've earned it. I need you to show me right now that you want this. To get it done? We'll see, guys. Thank you, David. And the Jazz call time here. It's tied at 54. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Westbrook. Got it! And you know, Westbrook is fearless. Likes getting deep inside and finishing around the rim and plays in attack mode all the time. Minnesota calls timeout. They're down by two. One second left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And with under two seconds remaining, they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win. Definitely do it. And so it's Utah who strikes by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball. That Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Charlotte Bobcats going up against the Denver Nuggets here at Pepsi Center. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Now, here's Smart. Passes it to Kleba. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. Great positioning on the putback. There are not many better on the offensive class than Howard. He's a flat-out beast especially if you don't box him out. Giannis passes to Diallo. Back to Giannis. In the corner, Bamba with it. Six on the shot clock. And here's Giannis from outside. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Hayward kicks to Williams. High post, Howard. Looking for Hayward. He gets it there. Charlotte moving it around. A shot by Kleba, wide open, and a miss there on the triple. The Nuggets now in offense, and this is the first time matched up with the Bobcats this season. Shot good by Diallo. 
have to expect this one to be a battle on the glass, Clark, considering how great both these teams are in that area. For sure, Kevin. Extra possessions would be at a premium here because they're both really good at tracking down loose balls. Winning that rebounding battle might win you this game. And so here's Charlotte. Denver able to train the three. Here's Smart. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Cannot leave Howard alone on the offensive glass. When you do, he's making you pay for that mistake. Bamba passes to West. On the wing, Giannis. Let's the three fly. Bobcats with the rebound. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. And here is Wesley after Gordon Hayward hitting the three. Pass to Wesley. On to Kumbo, a screen on Williams. Here's Wesley. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. For three, Hayward, good and smart, gets the assist. Hayward's got his second basket of the night. You know, Hayward doesn't really take low percentage shots from deep. He was feeling this one. It's Wesley on the wing. Back to Diallo. Gill with a screen on smart. Here's Diallo. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Charlotte leading by five. From outside, smart. And he drives in. What a great time and an awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bobcats will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. Then his shooters checked in for smart. Tennis shooter. Here's Howard, and it's Howard finishing it off. To me, this is Howard's specialty. This is his bread and butter thing here. We all know this guy loves to throw it down whenever he can. He's pretty good at it. Pass to Wesley. Gill with a screen on Schroeder. Wesley the pass to Bamba. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Bamba setting the pick for Diallo. And stolen by Howard. up the alley -oop pass stolen by Bamba now Wesley still without a basket on the wing yeah he's guarded by Howard Wesley the pass to Diallo driving the lane and with the offense getting right to the rim at least they saved the layup old school D right there just telling them no easy layups it's as simple as that and that's what you expect from them it's his first trip to the line take a break take a break two shots And that one misses. Both teams deciding to change it up. He hits the second from the line. 157 left to play in the first. It's stolen by Oladipo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on to White Howard. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw good from Diallo. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And at this time of the year, Clark, we start to see the physical toll the NBA season can have on the players, don't we? Yeah, we do. And, you know, this is when you have to be mentally strong because every player is somewhat worn down at this point. Every player has some kind of ache or pain that he's dealing with. And you just have to be professional and fight through it because this is part of your job. Here's Kleba after the main shot from Victor Oladipo. Buries it from three-point range. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Hill with a screen on Shrew. Hill kicks to Diallo. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And there's the pass to Oladipo. Five on the clock. Jamison on the double team. Fires for three. Brewer's shot is off. All the time in the world to get that one off. With the teardrop, Howard. And Howard with the second chance points. Howard's got eight points. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there. Keeping the ball alive and creating some second chance buckets. Now, here's Oladipo. He's definitely a factor in their offense, averaging 12 points a game. Bamba lays it up and banks it in. Bamba's got crazy length and impressive height, obviously, at north of seven feet. Helps him on that offensive board, but his tenacity, a big part of that, too. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Oladipo. Sinks the 15-footer. Oladipo's got his second bucket. The basket's coming early and off in the first quarter. Bobcats lead by seven. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Pepsi Center. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bobcats? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Hey, I know analytics shuns the mid-range game, but I tell you what, these guys have the shooters that can knock them down, and they're making it pay tonight. Two open that time made it look too easy. Schroeder's got his first bucket of the night. Hayward, really an unselfish guy, willing to share the rock and get his teammates some opportunity. Jennings against Schroeder. Jennings passes to Giannis. It's back to Jennings. Arnani is screened on Schroeder. And here's Jennings outside. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. No easy task to stick with Jennings in these screen and roll sets. He can hurt you in a lot of ways when he's playing pick and roll basketball. Schroeder kicks to Ross. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Three points. Ross has got the lead up to nine now for the Bobcats. Oladipo taking his time here. Into the lane. The feed to Brewer. Brewer with a screen for Giannis. Rebound by Antoine Jameson. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Ross for three. Brings the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 
Some changes for Charlotte. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Plumlee. And Smart subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Lost no good on the free throw. The Nuggets trail by 12. Outside Jennings. To the wing right side. Shot clock at five. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. And stolen by Diallo. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it there. Here's Howard. The nine-footer's on the mark. Howard's got ten. Oh, great ball movement there. For Denver, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Jennings against Smart. To the left side wing. Bargnani kicks to Jennings. Bargnani sets the screen for Jennings. Shot clock at six. It's good. Jennings has got five points now in the quarter. Man, it's great to see Jennings on the attack. I love watching this guy get after it. I mean, he gives you a lot of energy in how he gets to the rim. Howard can't hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And it's the Bobcats with the ball. After the Nuggets pick up two. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Bargnani sets the screen for Jennings. Shot from 16. That one's good. And the Bobcat lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Bargnani. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. A different look for Denver. Bamba comes in for Bargnani. And it's Gill in for Antetokounmpo. And a change for the Bobcats. Williams has checked in. In the corner, smart with it. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Jennings with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Jacks up a three. Another three for Denver. Jennings always ever ready to knock down that jump against good or bad defense. Charlotte leading by five. Williams dishes to Ross. Smart wide open. He fires. Traps in the tray. Smart's got his first three points of the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Charlotte's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Passes it to Ross from outside the arc. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And, and he Three. has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Under the Kumbos checked in for Brandon Jennings. And then for Charlotte, Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Jameson. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Ross. Diallo, the pass to Wesson. Pass to Bamba. Over Howard. Yep, it goes, and the Bobcat lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Bamba. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumpers to their advantage. Their third three-pointer in a row. 
Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. And the Takumbo finds Diallo. Lock at six. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. Thomas, no good. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. And so we conclude the first game. Yeah. It's Charlotte up by 10. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. 39. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. We have seen an exceptional performance from Dwight Howard. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Wesley against Williams. He lobs it up. Howard with the steal. Here's Hayward. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Hayward's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Charlotte. Williams against Wesley. It's on Kumbo on the wing. Wesley with the screen on Hayward. Here's Yacht. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, for such a young player, the razor sharp focus of Antetokounmpo really impressive. That's a, a muscular guy who still makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. One shot. So it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Charlotte. Led by as many as 14 points. Wasted no time on that one. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot. Not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. He had a nice open look right there. Smart's got six. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. And Bamba now top of the key. On the wing, Giannis. Defended by Hayward. And to Takumbo. And the layup's good off the glass. Andre Takumbo's got his third bucket of the night. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. Charlotte calls timeout. What time is it? It's t shirt time. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three pointers and two pointers tonight for the Bobcats. And this is a high-powered offense today. Clicking on all cylinders, making things happen, and also good use of the three ball. Just enough to keep the defense off balance. Inside, you're smart. Two points, that one goes. He's got eight. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Over to the left wing. Diallo the pass to Bamba. Over Howard. Bamba's shot is off. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. 
as tough as they get. Smart's a bulldog out there. Does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. He's off on the first. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. And the second free throw, good. The Nuggets trail by 14. Pass to West. Now here's Diallo. Five to shoot. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Howard's got nine rebounds now tonight. In the corner, smart with it. And it's good assisting on the play with Williams. Williams has got three assists in the game. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Wesley against Williams. Now the pass to on the Kumbo. And here is Wesley. He has yet to score over Williams. Gets himself open and drills it. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. He's looking for Kleba and finds him. And there it is for him. Kleba's got his first points of the night. Love the court awareness on that one. Williams demonstrating his outstanding vision by setting up the open man. Denver calls timeout. Change here. Oladipo's checked in. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for the Bobcats. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Here's Diallo. A three-pointer, no good. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Stolen by Bamba. Denver passing it around. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Out to Hayward. Here's Howard. And Bamba pulls it down. The Nuggets trail by 15. Diallo finds Oladipo. In the corner, Bamba with it. Pass to Oladipo. Wesley with the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. The Bobcats pull it in. Howard's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Back to Schroeder. Williams sets a screen for Schroeder. In the corner, it's Hayward. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists tonight. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now, here's Bamba. Six points for him. Bamba sets a screen. Wesley, the pass to Gill. And they come right back with their own three-point. Gill's got five points in the quarter. Charlotte leading by 15. Schroeder outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Denver's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bamba dishes to Oladipo. It's Wesley on the wing over Williams, and it's Wesley missing. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him a chance. In the corner, it's Hayward. Hangs home the trifecta. Hayward's got 14 points for the game. 
and perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And so it's Charlotte with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And so it's Charlotte with it. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Ross in the corner. The tray. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jennings kicks to Herter. It's back to Jennings. Off target from three-point range. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Gana is with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. Good work there as it goes. You know, that's a nice little shot to have in your repertoire. Just a lovely touch on that little flaw from Antetokounmpo. Now here's Smart. Pass to Schroeder from downtown. It's rebounded by Bargnani. Herter against Smart. And Herter gets it to go. Herter's got his first basket of the night. The selflessness of Jennings, something to be admired. I mean, he knows how important it is to open up the floor for his teammates. Pass to James. Launches a three. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Here in the fourth quarter, the defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. And the Bobcats call time here. It's free t shirt time. Get loud, go crazy. No one Gill is checked in for the Nuggets and a change for the Bobcats. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Terrence Ross. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Larry Brown said to his team. Now, he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys, all right, David, thanks. Showing you he can score off the ball. Dennis Schroeder has improved his shot since joining the lead. Bargnani has screen on Schroeder. Jennings passes to Bargnani. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Six to shoot. Here's Jennings. Not going to go that time. Excellent D from Howard. Bobbed up there for Howard. Tries to save it. Here's Jennings. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got three assists now in this one. Herder against Smart. Schroeder outside. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Bobcats lead by 14. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Jennings can't get it to go. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Yep, and they've simply shown more aggressiveness, guys. More desire to secure the ball. The man has no heart, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Teams changing it up here. It's 
Wesley against Williams. And the pass to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Williams. Six on the shot clock. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Bobcats leading by 14. The dish to Smart. Screened by Howard. Williams passes to Howard. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. And he should be. I mean... Remove all doubt. Get it down, hard, and simple. Here's Yuck. Physical basketball from Giannis at the Kumbo. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Williams scanning the four. Kleba, good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got five assists tonight. Boy, you got to love that assist by Darren Williams. Here's Yax. Passes to Diallo. In the corner, Bamba with it. Giannis up top. Fended by Hayward. Here's Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo is a monster inside. Giannis has tremendous physical attributes, but his confidence is something that separates him from most. Pass to Howard. In the corner, Smart with it. Kleba gets to Smart. And Bamba pulls it down. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Outside, Williams. It's deflected. Stolen by Bamba. Hayward against on the Kumbo. Plays it up off the glass. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. 34 seconds left in the game. Kleba, the pass to Howard. A stupendous finish in traffic. And the Bobcats lead by nine. And it's desperation time now. Does it matter if it's a two or a three? They need the quickest shot possible. Williams against Wesley. Williams with the ball. So it's Charlotte picking up the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around.
Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. Here we go. Tonight, it'll be the Washington Wizards going up against the Toronto Raptors. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. Now, here's DeRozan. Count it good. DeRozan's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Raptors. It's an interesting matchup here, Clark, especially in the backcourt. Well, you've got guards that can do a little bit of everything. They pass it, they score it, they can control and manage tempo. I think it makes for a very entertaining game. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance. Now, Lowry. Last game out, he had 14. 
Oh, good on the triple. Iguodala, the pass to Durant. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, you know, you're kidding yourself if you think Durant is going to back down from the opponent. Man, what a strong finish there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. And, guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Shot clock at six. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. Carter on the wing. He had 15 points last out. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Here's Lowry. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Just five on the clock. Carter finds Lowry. Hits it from three-point range. He's a skilled and willing passer. Vince gets to his teammates on time and on target. Holiday against Lowry. Here's KD. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Toronto's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Lowry dishes two to Rosa. Carter at the elbow. Out to the wing. Here's Lowry. Rebound, Washington. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. Yeah, there's a reason they were a playoff team. I mean, they beat the teams they were supposed to. We'll see if they can do it again tonight. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Siakam outside. To the middle. From six feet. And it's Carter missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. DeRozan again to get out. On the wing, a holiday. Katie a screen on low. Takes a shot at the elbow, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Boy, there is an understated, quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's strong and tough and persistent. Porter's checked in for the Raptors. Now, here is Ibaka. The pass to Lowry. And again, Toronto, no luck. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Holiday against Lowry. There's the screen. Holiday, the pass to Sohan. And Monroe kicks to Holiday. Bobbed up there for KD. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Here we are, two games left before the start of the playoffs. Let's take a look at the possible field. Taking a look at Washington. What a run they've had this year in first place and surging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And, of course, the Toronto Raptors right now quite a ways down below. And seeing where Washington is, they're proving that all the talk we heard about them in the preseason was warranted. What a role this group's been on here early on. It appears to me, though, that this group has all the ingredients for a special season. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now, here is Holiday. He's got six. Iguodala setting the pick for Holiday. And it's good. Two points. Holiday's got eight points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now, here is Young. Feeds to Carter. Ibaka sets the pick for Lowry. 
rejected by Monroe. Man, I like the recognition from Monroe. Actually, I love the recognition. His timing on these blocks, impeccable. Kicks doing it out. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Carter. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Carter's got his second bucket of the night. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. The wide open look here for Holiday. And again, Washington with the triple. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. And you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. Carter. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Assist Lowry's got his third assist on the night. Wizards leading by eight. Holiday surveying the floor. Wizards need to get a shot off here. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with tons blazing. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Washington. And they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Durant inside. Defended by Dunleavy. And Durant gets it to go. Durant with tremendous touch. He's just a natural scorer. Now here's Brunson. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. To the paint. And KD throws it down. Boy, a dynamic wing with freakish length. Durant is the ideal alley-oop target. Pass to Porter. Young left side. Holiday against DeRozan. Holiday, the pass to Nash. He kicks to KD. Step back shot. Toronto grabs the miss. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances. Competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. Here's Nash. Thaddeus Young picking up that last basket. So, timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. Johans checked in, and it's Igudala in for Drew Holiday. Then for the Raptors, Baca comes in for Young, and it's Lowry in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Nash. Hasn't made one yet. Zohan, the pass to KD. And again, Washington, no good. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Rosen dishes to Porter. Passes it to Lowry. Big Udala against DeRozan. Here's Lowry. A rebound by Villanueva. Washington leading now by 10. Durant kicks it over to Nash. Pass to Sohan. Trains it from beyond the arc. Sohan, who's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. So for the Wizards, their last game, a win against Charlotte. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, 
picking your spot. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. A lot of players say, Clark, this time of the season is when it's hardest to stay sharp, hardest to keep their focus. Yeah, Kevin, at this juncture, you've been through a lot of ups and downs already, and so unless you're battling hard for a playoff spot, it's be hard to be motivated. And the Wizards making a change here. On Rose check in. Boy, I tell you, DeRozan puts so much pressure on the defense, he practically forces guys to foul. Drew Holiday has checked in for Washington. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. There's the pass to Nash. Holiday with the three. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Well, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Pass to Siakam. Here is Carter. There's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Carter's got nine. Love the mindset of Carter. You sink a three on his squad, he's coming back at you. Nash, the pass to Holiday. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. The Raptors making a switch here. Dunleavy's checked in. Passes it to Lauer. Here's Ibaka. Good! And sometimes you forget how strong Ibaka is. Dependable at finishing on tight coverage. Nash, the pass to Holiday. And another miss by Washington. Raptors trail by 10. Here's Carter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one is on Holiday. A focal point of this offense, Carter knows exactly how to find ways to get himself to the line. Vince Carter hits them both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way out, to get out. your offense going. And maybe cause some foul Start. trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Washington calls timeout. Let's take a peek now here at the league leaders and rebound. Number five is Greg Monroe. And you can't win games without rebounding the basketball. That's what has made him such an important part of what they do. One thirty-seven left now here in the second. Nash left side. Down low. And Andre Iguodala with the slam. Something that Nash really excels at, his awareness of finding open teammates is incredible. Howry with the ball. Pass to Kirk. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here is Holiday. He's got 15. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. KD's checked in for Nash. Porter's checked in for the Raptors. 51 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Driving inside. Here's Sohan. Porter pulls it in. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Toronto Raptors. Eight-point game. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. On the wing, Holiday. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. Outside Lowry. Outside Porter. 
so it's Washington in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We come back right after this. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Washington leading now by eight. The pass to Sohan. Outside, KD. Kevin Durant pulls up. Money on the three. Well, Durant looks close to automatic. I mean, he does not second guess or hesitate at all his shot selection. To the middle. Carter finds DeRozan. Siakam outside. Six on the shot clock. Ibaka outside. Outside, Carter. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his fifth assist in this one. Iguodala right side. Now the feed to Holiday. Again, the Wizards good for two. Going off himself tonight. Holiday won't do this every night. But if his team needs his scoring, he can provide it. Here's DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Now here's Durant. 15 points in the game. No good there with the step-back J. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Lowry. Abaka with a screen on Monroe. Lowry passes to Abaka. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And then Durant with the jam. A three-level score. Durant is a pick-your-poison matchup for defenders. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. if you're wondering where the points are coming from here tonight, here's a breakdown in the scoring between the front court and back court tonight for Toronto. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this back court has kept them in the game. Carter. And it's Durant with the rebound. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Kicks it to Holiday. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Durant, no good. Raptors trail by eight. And here's Lowry. Driving in. The shot that time, not on target. Excellent D here by Iguodala. Holiday against Lowry. Outside Holiday. He feeds it to Iguodala. And the jam by Andre Iguodala. And there's Iguodala giving you athleticism and length from that wing position. Pass to Clark. Back to Lowry. Passes it to Siakam. Carter looking around. Here's Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. Whoa, on the glass, Ibaka can be so effective. Nice job saving the play this that time. Timeout. Washington calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And the Wizards making a change here. Nash is checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Porter's checked in for Pascal Siakam. 
Now Nash, scoreless thus far. Here's Holiday. Iguodala setting the pick for Nash. Five on the clock. And it's Iguodala missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice position, you could see the frustration on his face. Here's Lowry. And he comes up with the deuce. Lowry's got five. You know, this guy just brings such heart and passion to the court. Lowry just doesn't let a little contact stop him from scoring. Now here is Holiday. 17 points in the game. Here's Sohan. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Lowry dishes to DeRozan. He kicks it to Ibaka. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Okay, and looking now at some numbers for Serge Ibaka. He's definitely been getting it done since the All-Star break. He's putting up nine points a game, six rebounds, and four assists. The, the real story, though, is how big of an impact he makes on the defensive end. Absolutely. I mean, he's a lockdown guy for him, both That's on the ball stuff. and when helping out. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Thaddeus Young. He's checked in for a bucket. Dunleavy comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Kyle Lowry. Fifty-eight seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Young to the left wing. Dunleavy kicks to Carter. Holiday brings the double team on the wing. Porter that falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for him. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Pass to Porter. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the third. For three, Dunleavy. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Three. And this is what he does. Stretch the floor with deep range. You have to close out hard on Dunleavy. Nash drives in. Puts it in off the nasty crossover. Nash has got his first points of the game. Hey, how about the burst in that first step? Just right to the rim. Beyond the arc. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's the Washington Wizards with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. They're... And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. They trail by six. And there's the pass to Young. Here's Dunleavy. Pass to Brunson. Young, a screen on Nash. And here's Brunson outside. Wizards leading by six. Outside Durant, over Dunleavy. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Count the basket. I love watching Porter fill it up from the mid-range, demonstrating a really nice touch from the in-between area on the floor. Nash against Brunson. Durant with a wide open look, and he's good on the three ball. Durant's got 10 points here in the second half. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Young, right side. Outside to Rosen. Porter kicks to Brunson. Pocket six. A three. Trains the three-pointer. Brunson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Yeah, the knee with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Durant, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Porter outside. Washington with the rebound. 
He's led by as many as 14 points. He'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That'll be the latter half of his two-game homestand. And Petey from Chicago. And Nash is an incredible passer. Seems like he has eyes in the back of his head sometimes. He's one of the best. And the Raptors call time here. Some changes here for the Raptors. Curry's checked in for Dunley. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, guys. During that last break, I heard what the Raptors coach told his team. He told us, guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. This game is not over. You need to go out there and take control now. See how it looks coming out of the timeout, guys. Thank you, David. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Kicks it out to Igudala. out. For three, Durant. That falls. Nice speed that time from Andre Igudala. Igudala has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Young outside. To the paint. And Curry with the stuff. A fantastic heads-up play there from Young to find the open man. Washington leading now by nine. It's Durant on the wing, defended by Young. Pass to Holiday. Let's it go from deep. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. Porter has really good size and length at the small forward position. And as a result, he's also got a high release point. So it's tough to bother that shot. Pass to Sohan. On the wing, a good hour. Six to shoot. Durant in the corner. Over Young. KD can't get it to go. Raptors trail by six. Porter passes to DeRozan. Back to Porter. Fires from deep. Craig Monroe with the rebound. For Washington, they've gone full seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Inside. And it's Monroe finishing it off. He'll find you if you're open now. Eagle Dollar does a nice job with the assist. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by eight. 152 left to play here in the fourth. Some changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Kirk. Pascal Siakam comes in for Thaddeus Young. And it's Carter in for Porter. There's the pass to DeRozan. From outside, off the mark. Washington leading now by eight. Here's Durant. Ibaka with some nice deep. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Outside Lowry. Siaka sets a screen for Lowry. Back to DeRozan. Over Holiday. And the Raptors miss again. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. 119 left here in the fourth quarter. against Howard. Here's DeRozan. And that one is off. Good work defensively by Monroe. DeRozan against Iguodala. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And this just goes to show how much of a difference focus makes. Good win here for the Wizards. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for KD. Boy, he was absolutely relentless at the offensive end, guys. Smelled blood and went for it. Team on holiday. Monroe left side. And here's Iguodala outside. Siakam pulls it in. And the Raptors with the ball. Eight point game. Here's Carter. And it's sent back by PD. Affecting the shot right there. The length of Durant, the problem for the offense. Outside holiday. the 
Wizards with the W. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think mean, they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the... Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sport. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Clippers against the Portland Trailblazers. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Now here's Carter Williams. Back to Gordon. 
Shot clock at six. Matthews, no one around him. Hits the three-point box. Not many games left. So with the playoffs close, Greg, what constitutes a title contending team in your view? Kevin, I think first you need a superstar. Pretty much every NBA champion has at least one. And in playoff games, they're so close that there has to be someone who makes plays in the clutch for your team. Now, Matthews, following the three-point attempt by Derrick Rose. Matthews passes to Durant. Carter Williams with it. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Matthews, no good. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Now Rose. Williams dishes to Rose. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Gordon. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Launches a three. Carries the long-range jumper. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Outside Williams. And here's Rose. Last game we saw him score 32. Wallace outside. Williams passes to Rose. And here's a follow for three. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. The real. Come at us and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Duran. And Duran slams it in. Really hard to say enough about how good Carter Williams is at spotting the open man. He's got excellent vision and just a nice feel for what they're trying to get done in their offense. And the call will be against Joe Keen Noah. That's his first foul. Team foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Williams passes to a flyer. And the Trailblazers, another three. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And the basket by Gordon. And really, the three-point shot is Gordon's specialty. When he squares himself up, there's a real high chance he's dropping it in. About three minutes into this first quarter. Poked away. Kicks to Carter Williams. Back to Gordon. Shoots. And it's the Clippers scoring again. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offense. Now here's Rose. Nothing on the board. Wallace outside. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Portland. Yeah, and they're hoping for a better showing against this club this season. Last year, they came out on the losing end. And, you know, with two teams in the upper pyramid in the early going, important to establish that pecking order, especially within your conference. So this game is important. Now here's a follow after Eric Gordon's miss. Portland, no good that time either. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Let's take a minute to look at the NBA's three-point shooters in the point guard position here in the second half of the season. Fourth, Derrick Rose. You know, if there are no other options available, any of these guys can just step back and knock down a triple. Great backup plan for any point guard to have. Well, forget about using it as a backup plan. With the numbers this group puts up from deep, I think it should be plan A to have them stroking it from three. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Perkins, he's checked in for Noah. Gibson comes in for Duran. Jordan McRae, he's checked in for Gordon. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Michael Carter-Williams. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Green, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Jackson comes in for Wallace. And Miller's subbed in for Rose. Now, Dinwiddie, after Jackson's three-pointer that didn't go. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. 
Green dishes to Miller. Green left side. Outside Jackson. The Trailblazers working the ball around now. Adams with the screen on Matthews. Jackson finds Adams. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And this is where Adams has the biggest impact. The closer to the basket, the more effective he is. Tim Whitty for three. It's hauled in by Andre Miller. Trailblazers trail by five. On the wing of Flalo. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, Flalo's got nine. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Clippers. Gibson passes to Matthews. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Matthews has got a couple of threes now in the first for the Clippers. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Outside, Green. Three-pointers off the mark. Here's McCray. He has yet to score. Back to Perkins. And it's slammed in by Perkins. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do there. A big-time effort for Eric Gordon, providing a lot of energy for the Clippers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on the nice roll. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. That one good for two. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Now here is Miller. Rose kicks to Miller. Lock at six. On the top of the key. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. This is where Miller is most comfortable. Shooting it inside the arc. Dinwiddie passes to Gibson. Gordon with it. Fields with the three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Pass to Green. On the wing, Steven Jackson. Outside Rose. O'Neal is screen on Gordon. And the wide open shot from Rose. Trills the three pointer. Rose has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That's his first foul. Hakeem Ward. He's checked in for the Clippers. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Williams comes in for O'Neal. And Wallace subbed in for Miller. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That's foul number two for him. For the Clippers, Joe Noah is checked in for Perkins. Gibson comes in for Hakeem Ward. And Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Dinwiddie. Eric Gordon on the wing. Drills it from outside. Gordon's got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Jackson misses. Clippers leading by 10. Andrew Fields on the wing. Back to Carter Williams. Gordon with one around. Off target with his three. Portland is gone. One or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So Floats it up for Williams. They kick it out to Green. Outside Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Whoop saves the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. I had a chance to look at the numbers for Carter Williams, breaking down his play since the All-Star break. First in free throw percentage. And his playmaking ability, unquestioned, one of the top 15 assist men in our league. And it's nice when you have the NBA's best free throw shooter just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been completely automatic this season. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Jalen Durant. He's jacked in for Gibson. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Landry Fields. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Now here's Wallace. Hasn't made one yet. Back to Williams. Takes a three. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut down to 10 points. Again, thanks to that one from Wallace. They are definitely shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Carter Williams, the pass to Gordon. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Back to Carter Williams. Tires from the corner. It's hauled in by Adams. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Matthews against Wallace. Adams sets the pick for Rhodes. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Well, decision-making is something Rose is really good at. Excellent at reading the defense and then exploiting the pick and roll. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively. They were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Jordan McRae, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. Portland also making some changes. Aaron Aflalo, he's checked in for Jackson. And Andre Miller is subbed in for Derrick Rhodes. Knocked loose and stolen by Wallace. Aflalo outside. Miller with the ball. Noah picks him up. Carter Williams, the pass to McRae. And here are the top free throw shooting teams this month. You don't want to put these guys in the line too often. The Clippers, number one. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line, converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. Derek Rose's checked in for Miller. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Rose against Carter Williams. One fifteen left in the first half. Nice shot by Wallace. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to shift. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but uh, they're starting to look a little better now and regaining some ground. Here is Matthews after Carol Wallace's butt. Now he's drained two threes in each quarter so far. There's 49 seconds left here in the second. To the right side. A look from Rose. And Portland again with the bucket. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Clippers leading by eight. And the basket, Carter Williams. Clippers moving the ball around. And Matthews gets it to go. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Trailblazers trail by 11. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Rose surveying the D. Just five to shoot. It's blocked. Fires from way outside. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. We'll return shortly. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. One of the stories here, Wesley Matthews getting it done today. 
Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Rose passes to Adams. And Adams with the slam. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Pass to Matthew. Out to the right wing. During the pass to Noah. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. They see it was last touched by Williams. Five to shoot, and the basket by Gordon. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Rose. He's got eight. Williams, a screen on Matthews with his first shot attempt. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's such a physical player. Williams has no off switch, he, he, which is how he gets these calls. The Trailblazers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And 72% on, on the year. I, I'm sure they'd like to improve that category. And guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. And the energy of Williams, it's infectious. Amazing at using it to block shots, rebound, score, whatever they ask him. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Now, here's Rose. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. Aflalo kicks to Wallace. Aflalo against Gordon. Noah with the block. It, it takes defense so seriously. Noah's showing he can be a pest out there. Gordon inside. He's guarded by Aflalo. During the pass to Noah. At the top of the key, Gordon. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Gordon's got the lead up to 14 now for the Clippers. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Portland's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Carter Williams against Rose. Feeds it to Wallace. Passes to Williams. Back to Wallace. Adams with the screen on Matthews. And it's Wallace penetrating. Here's Adams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Joaquin Noah. Not the last time we'll see that. Adams is so powerful and loves to take it to the defense. This is his first free throw of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. Noah with a screen on Rose. Carter Williams kicks to Matthews. The basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Rose against Carter Williams. Outside Rose. Noah against Adams. Six to shoot. Portland moving the ball around. And again, it's the Trailblazers missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And here's Rose following the three from Wesley Matthews. A follow outside. 
takes the three. Good on the triple. Aflalo's got 12 in the game. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Los Angeles calls timeout. And the Clippers making a change here. Fields checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Andre Miller's checked in for Rhodes. Carter Williams against Miller. Right side, Matthews. And he uses the glass on the way. Matthews has got eight points here in this quarter. Boy, I tell you, efficiency is what comes to mind for Wesley Matthews here. And because of that, he's catching and firing right away. Here's Adams. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim. Knew he was going to get hit, but still was able to finish. Los Angeles making a switch here. Perkins has checked in. Good! Another from three. He's got his defense scrambling. And even when they got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. And it's Williams finishing it off. What I really love about this kid, you know, Williams is a, he's physical, he's explosive, and yes, he plays above the rim. He, he just brings that nastiness to the game. And here's Gordon from outside. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. And it's Miller in the corner. On the wing of Flavo. Wallace dishes to Williams. Here's Miller. Gordon with the defensive effort. Clippers leading by 16. Matthews finds Carter Williams. Over Williams. And it's Carter Williams that time on the assist by Matthews. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. And so Miller will bring it up for the Trailblazers. I'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. We'll start a three-game homestand with that game. Now here's Wallace. He's got five. Oh, and here comes Fields all alone. Finish off the break. Fields has got seven points. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Miller against Carter Williams. Miller, the pass to Wallace. With the drive. Use that pick to get in close. They're making a concerted effort in the second half to go inside. Trying to close that gap on the scoreboard. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Free throw good, Wallace. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact to get into the free throw line. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? We just love watching him operate inside. And so it's Los Angeles holding a big... And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Dinwiddie kicks to Matthews. Pass to Gordon. But Trey. Portland grabs the miss. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Rose gets the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Fields can't get it to go. Trailblazers trail by 16. Jackson finds Miller. Green with the ball. Defended by Gibson. Here's O'Neal. Matthews with the rebound. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Dinwiddie wide open. Hands it from downtown. And the Clippers lead by 19. 
the defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here's Jackson. Made away. And the Trailblazers, another three. Three points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing I'm like not, answering not. back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And the Clippers call time here. For the Clippers, Kendrick Perkins. He's checked in for Gibson. McCray has come in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Carter Williams in for Dinwiddie. Adams, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Now, here is Fields. Ball's knocked loose. And it's on a bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Trailblazers trail by 16. It's stolen by Carter Williams. To the wing on the left. Back to Gordon. Perkins with the screen for Gordon. To the inside. Perkins with the bucket. And let your take guys on the hustle steps for the Clippers. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined. Making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And also, you've got to mention the block shots. Playing hard on defense, not allowing shooters to get comfortable. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And here's Rose outside. No good on that one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Rose. The Clippers getting the bucket. No good with the triple. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Don't leave Steven open. Get him. Let's go dig in. Thank you. 